calculations based on equations are the most common kind of calculation in higher chemistry. There are various ways to tackle these. It depends on how you interpret the mole. The calculation here uses this well-known equation, n equals cv. We use this when we're dealing with a solution, such as an acid or an alkali. In the example given, the question is, what mass of calcium carbonate, chalk, marble chips for example, would react with 50 cubic centimetres of 0.2 moles per liter sulfuric acid? The question is, how much acid is that? In order to find out how much acid this is in mole terms, we need to use the equation N equals CV. Looking at the equation, looking at the balance equation for this reaction which has been given, we can see that one mole of acid reacts with one mole of calcium carbonate. Do we have a mole of acid here? Highly unlikely. Let's see how much acid we do have. We can use the equation N equals CV if we're given the concentration of the acid and the volume of the acid. Looking at the question, the concentration is 0.2 moles per litre. The volume is 50. Ah, 50 cubic centimetres. But the volume has to be expressed in litres. After all, it does say 0.2 moles per litre. So this is 50 over 1,000. 0.2 times 50 over 1,000 comes to 0.01 of a mole. Now we know how much acid we have, and looking at the ratio 1 to 1, it tells us that if we have 0.1 moles of acid, that will react with 0.01 of a mole of calcium carbonate. What does one mole of calcium carbonate weigh? Looking at the elements, calcium has an atomic mass of 40, carbon atomic mass of 12, car oxygen an atomic mass of 16, and there are three of those, this one we come across a great deal, comes to 100 grams. So if one mole is 100 grams, and we only require 0.01 of a mole, then we simply multiply 0.01 times 100 grams, giving an answer of 1 gram. 1 gram of calcium carbonate would react with 50 cubic centimetres of 0.2 moles per litre sulfuric acid.